Oh wow. Okay. The mission continues. Retrieved communications relay disk. Uh, That hurts. Mm. What the hell did you shoot me with? Well, I guess. Oh, fuck! Oh, don't lay down your guard like that! Load, load, load! Ooh. Thank goodness that one got stuck there. Oh. And my armor, armor held on. Alright. Yeah, it's a lot better when I have some cover against them. But now, was that all this time? the same thing to happen to me again. Can more strange meats. I don't know about that, but it's, it's valuable. Same. Delta 
IX rocket. Rocket information. The Delta IX rocket commissioned by the USSA in 2020 was the last of the manned rockets that sped our brave American astronauts to the moon. Sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. The Delta IX was in use for almost 15 years before being converted for military use and having the crew and instrument sections replaced with nuclear warhead. The Delta IX recorded over 77 successful launches, making it one of the most successful rockets in U.S. history. The rocket, developed by entirely by USSA scientists, was a single state's vehicle with an ejectable crew section or satellite storage bay. The propul propulsion system was a nuclear electric derivative drive using a massive electrical jolt to start the nuclear reaction on launch. The crew section was protected from the radioactive chambers by way of massive titanium vanadium disc. The spacecraft had the cap capability to sustain two astronauts for up to 24 days maximum for up to maximum. The longest recorded spaceflight in Delta 9 rockets was the 17-day Zeus-12 mission to the moon. Instruments. Ah, you can have the lights on. Ah, I could have, uh, could have turned... Could have turned... Uh, looked at... Uh, looked at that in more detail. These are the same. section propulsion <laughs> nice mm, up or down guess I will check it up the Delta 9 rocket was donated by the United States Space Administration by a grant from the United States Department of Antic Antics USSA deep spacesuit worn by Captain Carl Bell on May, May 5, 1961. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiance 7, but this has been constantly refuted by both the Soviet Union and China. Defiance 7's flight lasted for a total of 17 minutes and 7 seconds, as it achieved one full revolution around the Earth. Ah, oh, no spacesuit. That leads somewhere. Do we have more clues here? Or more of these ones? Okay, prime number uh, 113. Get passcode. 
Nice job, Jix. I knew you'd remember its good old days. The loot is in the security office safe in the upper part of the west wing. Use the terminal up there to get in. Enjoy your share, pal. You earned it. Meet me in the old diner outside the Jury Street metro station. Valiant 12 flag. This unusual flag was recovered from the surface of the moon by the very last manned flight to its surface 2052. The flag is from the old Valiant 12 Virgo 3 lunar lander that touched down November 14th, 1969. Its remarkable condition can be attributed attributed to its construction. The flag is actually made of special materials to withstand the harsh environment of space. I probably can't take that. Alright, it's in the still in the bowl. Captain Carpell. This is the actual skeleton of Captain Carpell, who died on May 5th, 1961, after his space capsule crash landed. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiance 7, but this has been constantly for you to do this the same. Donated by Edwina Bell. And some sick mind has taken the skeleton away. Oh, wait a minute, actually. It might uh, in 200 years a lot of things can happen. Um, so that way is the Virgo 2. Um, I want to check out that strange balcony there. It's like not connected anywhere. I, uh, I better save this because falling down will probably kill me. I think I can stay here on this ledge. Yes. Nice. Oh, I remember finding this secret for the first time. Felt so great. When I played it the first time, I uh, I didn't notice this uh, this balcony here, and I actually actually didn't remember it uh, until I s saw now. Oh oh, one of these uh, awesome awesome skeleton <laughs> skeleton stories. Well, awesome and sad. So we see that uh, this uh, probably a couple has. Uh, they somehow somehow got this uh, secret room here. Secret room in here and stayed here together until the very end. Oh, what a treasure box! Purified water, so much of it. for the assault rifle. Might actually need to use this against any remaining super mutants if there is any. Uh, that's plenty. There's plenty. 
plenty of it to find around. And I will leave a couple of dirty waters. I have a lot of empty bottles as well, and uh, unfortunately, the beer will have to stay. I could cook some of these meats. Do I need to eat right now? Definitely don't. Okay, I will, I will just leave some of these meats behind. Or something else. Let's leave the gecko meat behind. The more rat meat can stay and that'll that'll help me for now. I don't know, maybe this with this more exotic meat, I'm not exactly sure if that's safe to eat. Well, to get that, uh, get that safe. Virgo to exhibit. Yeah, the other way in. Let's see if there's more, more super mutants here or not. a lot of them. Ah, oh, fuck! My accuracy when my hand was hurt. <laughs> I, t I first saw those two two super mutants there, and I thought, okay, this is easy. And then uh, <laughs> all of the, all of them ran in. <sighs> yeah, it, it needs it needs to be quick kill against. Uh, I guess that's many, uh... Mm, I guess placing some mines here... Could be the way to go... Oh man, there's just one coming down the stairs. I don't have any mines anymore.
Oh. I, I thought oh. you died. Fuck, lasers of the head. Ah. Is that all of them? The plane actually crashed down. Ah, oh, yeah, but I'm hurt in the head. Yep. I hope I have surgical supplies. Did. It'll hurt my eyesight quite a bit. Was that all? July 16, 1969, the Virgo 2 Luna Lander Valiant 11 became the very, very first manned space vehicle to touch down to, on the moon. The Valiant 11's crew consisted of Captain Richard Wade, Captain Mark Carris, and Captain Michael Hagen of the USSA. We salute these brave and noble men who took the very first steps on the planetary body other than our own. Right. Uh, it's easy to remove. Uh, luckily, they have done it so that it's not heavy. I guess it's made out of a uh, space material. World War Two. The medals in this case were typically awarded to American pilots in World War II. From left to right, top row to bottom, Medal of Honor, Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, Navy Cross, Air Medal, Bronze Star, and the Purple Heart. I've uh, certainly earned my share of Purple Hearts today. I think I need to go to the planetarium side to get to that uh, what appears to be uh, oh, there is something here. This particular weapon was engineered by the world-renowned master engineer himself, Thomas Edison, nicknamed the Firefly. This projectile firing handgun spews out balls of liquid fire. While many technicians were witness to Edison actually working on the machine, our one technician claims Edison did not create it entirely by himself. According to a technician who talked to an in inappropriate appreciated Edison, Edison had 40% of the device since he was a child had 40% of the device since he was a child. It is said that Edison discovered the unfinished weapon in a smoldering hole that his dog led him to at his parents' farmstead. Due to the complex nature of the weapon, a very few copies exist. Years after its unveiling, Arizona-based Yuma Flats was able to produce costly replicants. It has been rumored that much of the technology behind Yuma Flats' pulse Pulse weaponry is in fact the product of reverse engineering of Edison's Firefly. There it is. I don't believe it. Um, actually, is there 
something. I actually have a... How about this one? box didn't load bucking a bit okay anyway now I got it it's uh, it has a <laughs> quite a value on it uh, that's that's pretty much it just just value um, let's drink at least one nuka cola here something to eat something heavy if possible I have the more rat meat and I need to cook it take one of these bulls pistols apart this will probably decrease the value well actually don't nice okay good and it's to pull out good repairs on it turret control system right again could have used that one that must be the safe I now have the access code to Let's see what this 
this has to say. Attention, all museum security personnel. The International Ordnance Museum has graciously loaned us some of their prized antique weapons for the firearms exhibits being displayed in the atrium. The exhibit will be in place from August 14, 2077 until December 31, 2077. Please adjust your rounds accordingly and have an extra security presence in this area at all times. Definitely an area I want to check out. Attention, all museum security personnel, I'd like to request that all riot gear and security firearms be moved to the new gun locker in the planetarium research office. The cabinet should remain locked at all times. The key to the cabinet must be carried on can carried by the duty shift supervisor and left in the security officer safe when shift changes occur and at closing time. Okay, I think I'll get the key then. Attention, all museum security personnel, the Museum of Technology annual card dinner will be held in the atrium on November 9, November 1st, 2077. We expect over 100 at attendees, including several local dignitaries dignitaries and heads of state. Please set up security checkpoints and provide visible coverage for this event as per security mandate 99078B in your handbook. Okay, I unlocked the safe. I get caps. I get a gun locker key. Was this the stash? That's it. Well, 200 caps is 200 caps. It's uh, it's nice. Kinda expected a bit more. Security office safe. Okay, 